Hello, hello, hello. Who wants an unboxing? Yeah, let's do an unboxing. Don't worry, it's not Pink Floyd. Um, well, if you've read the title or the description, you'll know what this is. And if you haven't or you can't read, then, uh, then you don't know what this is. <laughs> I've been, this was a funny one. Well, not funny. Was it funny? I don't know, define funny. Um, a few a while back now, I don't know how long ago it was, I was thinking about this album, this particular album. It's, if you don't know, I'll get it out. Look, it comes in this, whenever I buy anything from Bleep, they use this uh, very environmentally friendly paper packaging, which feels, feels kind of, ugh, don't like it, it feels odd. I'm gonna get it out and show you. Look, and there's more paper. And, uh, all right, what's this? Oh, it's this seat. Yeah, can't show you that because it's probably got me address on. This is Flow Goes The Universe by Mr. Laraji, Mr. Larry Gordon himself. And uh, I don't think that's the original artwork. I think they've rejiggered the artwork. I was thinking about this record. I was thinking about it a while back. This is where it was funny. This is a fun, oh, it's hilarious. This story. You're gonna love this anecdote. Um, I was thinking about this record. So I, I've realized I hadn't actually heard it. I hadn't heard this record. And I thought I'd had, and I realized I hadn't. So I started looking for the CD of it on eBay, and eBay prices were silly. It was like, I don't know, 50 quid for a CD. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna do that. And then the very next day, it was announced this was being reissued on the vinyl. I think this is the first time it's on the vinyl. This is. Yeah, see, first time vinyl. Uh, originally released in 1992. Um, so you go. And it's also um, produced by Michael Brook. And this has been cut as a double album. But yeah, 92, I must have missed it, you know. I, I don't know how I missed it. But again, it's because of the Michael Brook thing. I was thinking about Michael Brook and Laraji, and I thought, oh, have I heard that? And then this has been reissued. It's almost like they read my thoughts. <laughs> get the tin foil hat on so shall we have a look shall we and again for those who don't know Laraji was discovered by uh, Mr Brian Eno I think he was playing in somewhere like um, Central Park or something like that in, in, in New York City in the uh, in the 70s and that's how um, Eno Found him. Uh, and again, he does looping and all sorts of experiments. He used the zither a lot. So you have this kind of ethereal sonic quality. And you go, oh, look at that. You've even got an essay to read. And uh, yeah, I mean, Laraji makes no bones of it. He, he presents this as a spiritual, spiritual thing. It's a way of, you know, oh, there's a download card that fell out. Um, Try to get the vinyls. Let's see, there's a vinyl. There's, there's a vinyl too. Wow. Oops, touched it. It's ruined. It's ruined. He's ruined the vinyls. Um, so yeah, again, it's if you like if you like the ambient music, if you like um, tinkly things, he's the master of the tinkle. He really is. If you like tinkly things, a bit if you like a bit Terry Riley, that kind of thing, then this could be right up your alleyway. This could be. And like I said, they put over two, two LPs. So, oh, I'm going to be turning this over. But there you go. So, yeah, I've, I've, I'm looking forward to... When people say to me, Darren, what are you looking forward to? I go, I'm looking forward to Flow Goes the Universe by Laraji. Uh, and he's been quite busy lately. He's been quite a few albums out. And uh, again, I haven't got all of them because it's hard to, well, afford a lot of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so I shall be, I shall be giving this a listen later on. Should be good. Flow goes the universe with Mr. Laraji, and of course production by that there Michael Brook. There you go. You want unboxings? I've given an unboxing. There you go. Thanks for watching. I've been unboxing Laraji's Flow Goes the Universe, originally on All Saints records back in 1992 and this is the first time it be on the vinyls wow there you go
and that's that thanks for watching ta